What do you think, Gerard? Should we make another emo video? What's that, Gerard? Yes? Okay. You have to listen to the Gerard candle. After all, he does light my way. Recently, I have gotten uh, messages of the same variety from people, and I'm gonna boil them down to the basic question here. Um, it's, I, I don't like my friends, or I think my friends don't like me. What do? I'm gonna answer this question with a story, right? Most of my life, I have wanted to be liked by every single person I interact with. It is, it is a crippling fear that I'm disliked that has motivated much of my life. And I don't like that, but that's, that's true. It's a true thing. When you're younger, that works okay. You know, it's, it's fine. It's, it's not really like the worst thing in the world that you could be like that, just trying to get people to like you. But when you get older, oh, oh when you get older, that's when it becomes a problem. I was 18, 19, around that age, and, uh, and I realized that I was not close to anyone. At all. I was not close to any person at all, and I had this feeling. I was like, oh, nobody really likes me. Nobody really knows me. Nobody really cares about me beyond, like, the surface level kind of a stuff. And oh, geez. Oh, geez, oh, man. I felt that I was doing something wrong. I felt that I was broken. I felt that there was something intrinsically miswired within me that kept me from getting close to people. And, uh, and I did, it, uh, it didn't feel good. As I was approaching age 20, I started to uh, try and actually get close to people. I started showing them who I actually am, uh, not just who I wanted them to see. I showed them who I actually was because I, I wanted to be close to people. And I craved it. I needed it. I needed it a lot. And many of the people who I considered to be closest friends of mine uh, in my life were not about it. They were not really feeling me. And they stopped talking to me. They stopped interacting with me. And, uh, and I was like... Because here I was, in a phase of my life in which I thought that I was coming into my own. I thought I was doing great, and, uh, and people just didn't seem to be vibing with that. And, uh, and it was upsetting, it was sad, and I thought all these things, I'm like, why, what do I do? Here's something common sense that is common sense, but like, we don't realize that it's common sense. Uh, you should like your friends, and your friends should like you. Again, something that sounds very simple, but is not very simple. Right, if the people that you hang out with, uh, like, don't make your life better, like, if you're not enjoying the experience, why are you hanging out with them? Also, if you're hanging out with people and they don't like you, um, that can hurt, but, like, don't, don't be around that. Like, remove yourself from that. The difficulty is, uh, making a choice sometimes in life between what feels right and nice in the, in the right now moments and what's better for us in the long run. And it's really hard. When you're in a, a group of people, like friend group, like a clique or something, and, uh, and you feel like you're, you don't really fit in anymore, you, uh, that's scary, because if you leave that, then you're like, where are my friends? I don't have any. Uh, but actually, that's probably what you should do. People grow, and people change, and they evolve, and, and a lot of different stuff happens. And, uh, and as that happens, sometimes we outgrow relationships, and that's very sad. Uh, it's very sad. Uh, it's not. It's not a happy thing, but it's a real thing. Sometimes, as we grow and like learn stuff, we realize that some things that we had were actually not good for us, and we decide to graduate from them and, and go after things that are good for us. I have found that sometimes uh, in young adulthood, the choice that you have to make is the choice to to be lonely as opposed to being around people who are toxic for you. And that's not, that's not like, you're not choosing between a good thing and a bad thing. You're choosing between a, a worse thing and a less worse thing. And, I, and it's not nice. But here's how I look at it, and here's where the video gets uplifting. Right? <laughs> time is precious, right? Our time is precious. And we shouldn't waste that time on people and on things that make our lives worse. We shouldn't do that. Just because something has always been a certain way, it doesn't mean it will always be that way, or that it should always be that way. I think that uh, yeah, questioning your environment and always looking to improve it is like critical for our species, just like objectively. Sometimes we're in jobs and we're in places and we're in relationships and all this kind of stuff and, and we're there and we're not really happy, we've stagnated or we've regressed and, uh, and we just want to move forward in our lives but we also feel kind of married to the status quo as it is. And you don't have to do that. If you don't like your life right now, 
you are totally entitled to take steps to make your life better. Sometimes those steps feel like a step back, but they're just a long-term investment that later on in life you will be so happy that you did. I do not have that many friends from like high school and, uh, and from when I was like 18, 19 because of a lot of things that happened in my life, but mostly because these people and me just don't mesh. We're not really good matches in friendships and relationships or whatever. You could be the best person in the world and not everyone's gonna like you. In fact, some people will probably hate you. That's just, that's just how it works. There are so many different ways to be a person and ways to do it, it like authentically and genuinely that even two people who are like really good people, sometimes they just like butt heads and they just don't fit together and that's okay. So what do you do if you don't like your friends or your friends don't like you? I, you look for new friends. Look for new friends. You don't have to be dramatic about it. You don't have to like break up with your old friends. Like, you know, just sometimes relationships naturally kind of transition into less significant things and that's fine and that's okay. People drift apart. Your relationships should make you happy, right? Your friendships should make you happy. If they're not doing that, they need work or uh, they need to be moved on from. And that's, and that's, that's that. As always, if you guys have any thoughts or comments, you can leave them down below. I, uh, I was reading through the comments on my last video and I just, I wanna reiterate how grateful I am that all of you exist and that you like what I do. It makes me very, very happy. I love you guys a lot and uh, I will see you next time on Monday. This will most likely be the last time you see like this little framework here because I heard that YouTube is doing away with annotations so I have to adapt and use the new end screen feature and change is scary and Thomas Edison was a witch. So uh, I'm gonna learn how to do that <laughs> for my next video, I think. Um, but yeah, love you guys a lot. Bye, see you Monday.